All right, this is gonna be an update. Um, big change is happening, so I figured I'd film this and uh, tell you guys what's going on, do a cold start, and kind of wrap things up. So, I got my trailer loaded with the rest of the 86K30, the uh, military one, along with any other metal anything I had out back. And uh, cleaning up, cleaning out the yard, getting things ready to go. And uh, here and talk a little bit about what's going on. So as you guys know, this has been converted to a diesel. Running pretty good. I think I got most of the leaks figured out. There's a couple little ones still plaguing me, but that's all right. Uh, what's happening is going to be moving down to New York. Um, so there's not going to be much more in the way of automotive vids coming. Uh, I'm going to be shooting a bunch probably this week as I get things running and sell some things and kind of consolidate down to just a few items. And then uh, things like this truck are going to stay here. Um, and stuff that's smaller that I don't have a place to put is probably going to get sold off. So a lot of changes. Um, and like I said, a lot of videos probably coming within the next week or two. And then you probably won't see many uh, for a good long time. So let's uh, crank this thing up. So we turn that on. Let's get this thing. Shake it up. Down. So what I did over here is uh, cold advance for the injection pump, glow plugs, high idle. So since it's kind of chilly today, we'll do the glow plugs first. We'll let them run for about a 10 to... 12 count, they are the 60 G's, which are supposedly self limiting, so hopefully that works. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll go hit the fast idle. Make sure we're neutral. Glow plugs off, and give her a crank. And we're not neutral. <laughs> Most. Give it another five count. Three. Turn off that advance. Building up some oil pressure. We are charging. The water temperature is obviously going to take a while. I don't have the uh, RPM gauge hooked up yet. I'm going to have to do a magnetic pickup on the alternator or get the alternator shop to do a built-in or something. I don't even know yet. I called auto meter, but they really weren't much help at all. They just told me, like, oh, it couldn't be done or or whatever. So that that's where we're at with these things. Uh, no smoke. thing runs awesome. So yep, that's where we're at. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's been watching and all the new subscribers. Uh, it's pretty cool to see people uh, taking interest in some of the stuff I'm doing. And I really do hope with a lot of the videos I put out that they uh, that they help people. You know, um, I know some of them probably are just kind of random, uh, but I hope a lot, at least a lot of the truck ones, I hope some of that information gets passed on and, and people can use it uh, for their projects. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to say in this video was uh, I had a video about Briggs and Stratton uh, motors and I was kind of going on about how I don't particularly care for them and I got a lot of flack from people for that 
And you know, I, I just want to say like, everybody's entitled to their own opinion and I really, I don't care if you don't agree with my view on those engines. Um, you know, teach their own and I personally don't like them. So, whatever, I mean, get over it. I can't believe all the little comments and stuff and, and private messages I've been getting from people going on and on about Briggs and Stratton's. It's like, who gives a shit? Unless, unless you work for them or you own a part of that company, I don't see the need for some of these people to get all up in, uh, up in arms about it, you know? It's my opinion. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. Leave a comment, that's fine too. But there's no need to go and, and start messaging me and, and trying to convince me otherwise. I've worked on them long enough to know what I like and what I don't like. So again, thanks to everybody that watches, subscribes, and I uh, hope you enjoy the next few videos, and uh, good luck with your projects.